Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. Moorhead State University Bookstore, a Barnes & Noble College Store. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. And Standard for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Guys, we've come a long way with our growth this year. But day one, I knew that this team was going to be great. You knew that we were going to be great. And it was going to be because we were going to be willing to do the things that everyone else in this league is not willing to do. Let's grind these dudes. Let's have unbelievable responses. Okay? Any adversity that comes tonight, allow that to bring us closer together and sharpen our focus so that we can be the best versions of ourselves here tonight. Let's go get this done, folks. We'll do what we do and we'll do it together, right? Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Yeah. Pounds out front, coming forward, Wolf. Wolf around the right side. Bellwell skips it to the block. The Grove, the Thelwell, right side for three, yes sir! Right side, Smart, steps into a three, in and out, no, right block, rebound, Thelwell, Branson falls down to Moorhead State, we'll see a five on five at the other end. Now Freeman down the baseline, wrap around lamp, high off the glass and down it goes, yes sir! Russell looking against that sagging, switching man-to-man, -man. drives the right arc. Backs it up, straight away, Branson on the drive, got to the goal, dish down low, baseline right for the scuff is Josh Early. Toward the right corner, Fellwell, high right, Freeman. Freeman on the drive, 10 to shoot, cut off, penetrates inside the lane to the block, to the baseline, with a goal! He puts it up off the window and in. Fellwell to the left, to the right, takes it to the right block, to the baseline, and the goal, flips it up and through. Moorhead State tied with Simo now at 11. Loffler hit of the key. Backing out wide left, Wolf for it. Far sideline around forward, Freeman. High left, Thelwell. He'll step into a three ball switch. <laughs> 14 11, Moorhead. Free throw line, Wolf controls on Russell. Wolf bounce inside the lane of Gross, who came back in. Turn the hook and score! <laughs> Bounce high right, out court, Early. Early looks for the cutter, no one's home. To the near side, picked off by Moffert. Bounce ahead to Freeman. Mark, right side from 18 on the jumper, got it! Eight points for Mark Freeman, 19-11, Moorhead State. Bellwell, 13 to shoot. Curls left, far hash, Freeman. 10 to shoot. Mark, bounce out front to his right, Thomas. Far side, Moffert, six to shoot. Brandon on the drive, right corner Thomas. Backs up with three to shoot. The triple nails it! He loves the corner threes and he makes that one and Moorhead stayed up 22-13. On Freeman, stops high right, spin move. Knocked away by Drew Fellwell, steals it and got it to gross ahead to Freeman. Possible three on one, left of the lane. Alley oop, Mockner taps it in! <laughs> Fifteen on the shot clock. Mark Freeman. Wide left, Fellwell. Starts in. Takes it to the right block. Bounce out front. 
Wide left, Freeman. Freeman off the angle from 16 slips. Mark Freeman with 10. MSU up 26-17. Ball knocked loose, picked off by Gross. Gross ahead to Thomas. Thomas bounced to Freeman. Baseline left and a lamp at two. 12 now for Mark Freeman. Another transition bucket for Moorhead State. Across the line, fell well toward the left hand. Turns right to the right of the lane. Wide left, Thomas. He'll catch, shoot the three. Yes, and he foul! A possible four-point play as Smart got a piece of it. Freeman has it knocked away. Got it back, though. Wide right. Works on Philip Russell. Takes it to his left five to shoot. Four to shoot. Dump inside. L.J. Bryant, a bounce. Puts up the layup as the shot clock goes off. Count it! And they may want to look at this. For Russell. Russell penetrates, got to the lane, to the goal. Shot blocked by Gross to Thomas. Rolls it ahead to Freeman. Mark to the goal all by himself for the two. Mark Freeman. Mark Freeman now with 15 points. Russell just inside the line on Drew Felwell. Bounce high left, Harris on Wolf. Harris plays it down. Puts it up, free throw line jumper, and he ties the game at 38. He's got 10, and we're knotted at 38 as we head to immediate timeout. Moffmer at the left wing and bouncing back out to Wolf. 13 to shoot, right wing, Elwell. Drew from the side, plays it down to the right block. To Brian, LJ powering in, fights it to go, lays it up and in. <laughs> Elwell down central, across the timeline, works on Russell. Elwell. Driving left of the lane to the block of the baseline with a scoop and score! Through with 10, Morehead stayed up by two. Down low, left block, Brian. Left, play it down on early, kick it out to Freeman. Mark high left. Gives it right back to LJ, takes it to the lane. Turns, puts up the short shot off the glass. And in. LJ Bryan with six. 46-45 MSU, 9.45 to go. Fell well at the left wing. Turns to the free throw line. Got it for the cutting LJ Bryan. Lays it up and in counter. He's fouled. Eight for LJ Bryan. Left hash Moffner out front. Wolf. Right hash coming back up the sideline. Freeman. Mark turns to his right. Back to his left. Circling left of the lane. Back to his right to the free throw line. Taking it to the right block of the goal. Oh, layup. Yes, sir. The glass. Mark Freeman with a showtime display right there. Russell across the line on Drew Fellwell. Wolf and Fellwell run at him. Russell, high left, penetrating, free throw line, trying to get in there. Can't do it, getting up to the cutting. Branson dumped down low, baseline left, layup, it's in. And that's scored by Josh Irwin. Circling out for it, right to left, Freeman. To Thomas. Long three, One left and short off the rim. Free throw line rebound, Thomas. High left, Thelwell for three swing. Three 13 for Thelwell. Morgan State back with his five. 55 seconds to go. 38 seconds to go. 19 to shoot. 61 58 Simo. Eight to shoot. 27 seconds to go. Russell at the near wing. Driving on Wolf, crossover dribble, backs out, shoots a three and And that makes it 64-58 with 21 seconds to go and Morehead State will take a timeout. The Eagles left with one. A huge dagger right there by Simo star Phillips Russell. Freeman has it, five seconds to go, Mark at the right hash. High right, launches a three, spins out, no good, throw a rebound, Russell, and Simo has won. The final score from the Ford Center in Evansville, Indiana, the OBC semifinals. Moorhead State falls to Southeast Missouri, 65 to 58. agent with a simple question only to get sent to voicemail again we pick up the phone I should get this <laughs> hello this is Sam how can I help you 
Yes, I'm glad I'm not a robot, too. Like I said, we pick up the phone because it's ringing. That's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. Hello, this is Sam. Go Reno! There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with our trademark honey butter rolls and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogan. I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Go out! Go west! Go Reno's! Woo! At Moorhead Pediatrics, we strive to deliver the best possible care to your children. Our providers focus on providing newborn, child, and adolescent specific medicine, including mental health and critical areas of growth and development. We are committed to helping parents and families raise healthy, happy children. With quality care, compassion, and experience, join the many parents and families that have looked to us to care for their children. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. My great-grandfather opened the first Tenton store in 1918, and our family opened our first feed mill in the mid-1950s. We now have six locations and a wide range of products, including feed, seed, fertilizer, crop protection, animal health products, fencing materials, and pet food. Though times have changed, our commitment to providing you with the highest quality products and knowledgeable customer service is as strong as ever. I'm Adam Hinton, inviting you to stop in and see for yourself. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Wendy's. Fresh, never frozen. A fantastic college basketball game in March Madness in our league, as you would expect. And, um, you know, give credit to, to Southeast Missouri. Uh, they played a really good game and uh, they fought hard and they've got a lot of momentum right now, which is dangerous in March. And, uh, but our guys fought really hard and I'm super proud of them. We gave everything that we had to this game. Came up a little short, we missed some shots um, that we otherwise normally make. Uh, but I'm really proud of our effort, our belief, our fight, our togetherness, and how we walked off that floor with class because that's very important to everyone involved in our program. Yeah, without question, he's the best player in the league. And, um, you know, he came out on the big stage here and, and really performed and did some great things here tonight and took the game over at times, especially especially in the first half. It was uh, really something, you know, uh, the way we were hooked up defensively and executing and getting the looks and big-time transition three and uh, all of that. But I'm, I'm really proud of Mark, you know. I wanted the opportunity to coach him for a long time. And uh, he's had... He's come here to Moorhead State and proven that he's a winner. Uh, he's not only a great individual player, but he elevates the guys around him, and he's a winner. And uh, talk about Drew's contributions tonight. Well, it's uh, not just tonight, but all year long. And, you know, I say this about Andrew all the time. All Andrew knows is winning 20-plus games and competing uh, on this weekend in March. It's all he knows about college basketball. So he brings that every single day to everything that we do as a team in the locker room, on the court, in the weight room, in the film room. He's a winner, and he's a phenomenal leader. His energy is, is, is completely infectious, and um, he gave us everything that he had here tonight. Any questions? Preston, you've been on both ends of this. You, you felt the, the championship feeling, and then, yeah. and then this. Talk about what you take from this, because you, you've built, you've established a winning program. Talk about how you go forward with this. Yeah, well, you know, first of all, our season's not done, um, you know, and we hadn't talked one thing about the NIT with these guys. I literally said the words, you know, NIT in the locker room um, because we wanted our mind and our focus to be on this tournament. You know, it wasn't God's will. We fell short, you know. We gave everything that we had 
leading into this. We've given it all season. We left everything we had out there. And so if you're going to lose and, and, uh, and lose in your conference tournament, you want to lose to a quality opponent, you want to give everything you got. We check those boxes, and we're doing it with dignity. And so moving forward, you know, although it's, it's not the NCAA tournament, it's an amazing opportunity to represent our institution. And, and to be honest with you, it's, an, it's a great opportunity for this team to stick together. You know, our toughness and our togetherness has been our calling card all year that's gotten us to 21 wins and, you know, regular season championship. Um, so we're going to – the opportunity for us, the blessing to be able to continue to do that no matter what tournament it's in, um, we're excited about that. It's a blessing, man. It, you know, gives us along with our brothers, you know, gives our fans and our students, you know, another opportunity to come support us. So it's, you know, it's always good that just knowing the season is not over. So just ready to get back at it with my brothers and put this behind us. I tell you, this has just been such a joy to coach. You know, Andrew's been with me three years and He'll tell you, I haven't always had fun coaching some of our teams, you know, and that's it's no offense to them. It's just um, I love them, but this has been a group every day. Uh, has just been so much fun. And um, I want to shout both of these guys out because you look at their story, you know, first of all, Andrew, two years, limited minutes on, on you know, two 23-win teams that played over a championship Nowadays, most guys don't stick around to do that, right? They're gone. They don't get to play for two years the way they want. They bounce. Well, Andrew said, I'm going to stay here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and it speaks to his character. It speaks to his humility. And now he's the best point guard in the OVC. I'll argue that with anybody. And now he's got a chance to, to really do something special with his career here at Morant State. And, um, and, it's, and, and that's just rare. You look at a guy like Mark, you know, who, who sacrificed. You know, Mark can go get 30 points every night. He's proven that he's done that. But Mark came here because he wanted to win. And there was times where we needed Mark to go get 28, 30 points to help us win. There was times when he went and got 13 points and got eight assists to help us win. And so that takes a lot of humility. And that's a high character trait that I'm really proud. And, and that's just two examples. And we got 15 examples of that. You know, we got an unbelievable group of guys. Um, you know, you take two guys who, who play their first year of Division One basketball, Alex coming from NAI and uh, Brandon coming from Division Two, where they were the man. And the game was easy for them to come in and have the humility to challenge themselves and to get lost in the – the, the substance of a great team at this level, and that's really special. And you look at, we got the transfer portal, we got all this stuff that's changing in the landscape of college basketball. You know, our team fell a little bit short here tonight, but in the grand scheme of where we're heading in college athletics, man, we got a bunch of winners because the integrity that these guys have and the character that they have is very rare in college basketball right now. And for that, I'm unbelievably proud. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware was founded by Philip Lewis nearly 45 years ago and is still locally owned and operated by the Lewis family. Our customers' needs have always come first, meaning we continue to enhance and expand our inventory. Big Four is a staple of the Moorhead and Round County community, and we take great pride in giving back. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. The moment you walk through the door, you'll know why we are Ace, the helpful place. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead, Kentucky. These days, banking, like basketball, moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something's wrong. Stress from a car accident, work injuries, aggravation, or even unknown aches can manifest and become worse months or years down the road. 
take the initiative and take care of your body. Dr. Chris Skinner at Commonwealth Chiropractic in Moorhead has a locally owned practice that pledges to treat everyone like family. And he's the official chiropractor for Moorhead State Athletics. Located off the US 60 bypass, just west of City Park next to iStyle Salon, call today, 783-0233. Hi, I'm Gary Markham, proud Moorhead State alum and managing partner of Tim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We offer new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford makes, along with a wide selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction in Moorhead or our two newest locations, Maysville and Lexington. We are Tim Shore Auto Group. Giovanni's Pizza is a favorite stop for Eagle basketball fans before or after the game. Come taste for yourself. Delicious pizza, pasta, subs, salads, wings, and much more at the perfect location, 700 East Main Street, across from the Academic Athletic Center. MSU head coach Preston Spradlin and his staff enjoy game day meals with us. Dine in for great customer service or order online at Giovanni's Pizza Power.com. First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is the place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball as we're coming to you from Evansville, Indiana in the beautiful Ford Center here in downtown. And it's always great to be joined by a good friend of mine. This is Kyle Schwartz. He is the Assistant Commissioner for Strategic Communications with the Ohio Valley Conference. And Kyle, it's, it's always great to have you to take the time to be with us and we appreciate everything you do. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. It's basketball time Absolutely. and March Madness. It's our favorite time. Exactly. It's our favorite time. Kyle and his office does just a, a fantastic job. This guy is the best in the business at what he does. We appreciate everything. Uh, you, you have such a full plate managing so many sports, but there's nothing like March Madness, especially with a tournament now in Evansville. I'll tell you, Kyle, it's been a blessing to be here. Sixth year uh, keeps getting better. There's new teams this year. Yes. Things have changed, but it's still a great atmosphere for our fans and uh, nothing like being here uh, at the first week of March. Mm -hmm. What is it about Evansville that keeps you coming back? And talk about the extension that yeah. you just signed. So the building, first of all, it's yes. a fantastic venue. Uh, if you look at our map, now Moorhead I know is a little far from it, but it's very centrally located. So easy mm -hmm. for all of our fans to get to. And just a first rate uh, student athlete experience for the players. Obviously having the tournament in Nashville from a convenience, <laughs> from a convenience perspective, what was good for you guys, but but Evansville brings a whole, do, whole new dimension to the tournament. They do, it's, uh, it's a big, small city. It's easy to get around, there's lots of hotels. We're staying across the street, you can walk here, easy to park if you're a fan. So even though we have to move all of our stuff a couple hours up the road, it, it's really worth it to have a tournament here. Uh, the awards that were recently given out, of course, Preston Coach of the Year for a second time in three seasons. 
You have uh, Mark Freeman, Player of the Year, Alex Gross, Defensive Player of the Year. Both those guys, first team all OVC. Alex, Newcomer of the Year. Talk about what went in to those awards and why those guys are so deserving. A lot of parity this year, I think. Mm -hmm. A lot of teams, there was a four-way tie for second going into the last yes. weekend. But when you finish 14-4 and four and you win the conference, I think the co other coaches recognized that and mm -hmm. saw that you know, Moorhead had a great season and let's reward those guys with the vote. OVC tournament as a whole, how pleased have you been with uh, with everything? It's great. I mean, we extended the extension through at least 2026, so we're excited about that. Um, keep coming here and keep. We want all of our fans to come, so all the Moorhead fans come out uh, in future years. We'd love to have you here in Evansville. And that will do it from Evansville, Indiana, and the 2023 Ohio Valley Conference basketball tournament. Congratulations to the Southeast Missouri Redhawks for winning the title game in overtime against Tennessee Tech and punching their ticket to the NCAA tournament. As for the OVC regular season champion, Moorhead State Eagles, it's on to the National Invitational Tournament, the NIT. Of course, Selection Sunday for both tournaments is coming up on March 12th. We look forward to that, and on behalf of Kyle Schwartz, I'm David Patrick, so long from Evansville. We'll see you next week on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. Moorhead Pediatrics, exceptional care for what matters most to you. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. Moorhead State University Bookstore, a Barnes & Noble College store. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. And Standard for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll.